That's handy. William signs typed birth certificate for HRH Prince Louis Arthur Charles of Cambridge five years after registrar received death threats for her messy handwriting on George's. The birth certificate of Prince Louis has been made public after it was signed by proud father the Duke of Cambridge. The document gives the full name of the latest member of the royal family as His Royal Highness Prince Louis Arthur Charles of Cambridge. William and Kate's third child was born at the private maternity unit of St. Mary's Hospital, Paddington on Monday April 23 at 11.01am, weighing 8 pounds 7 ounces. The Duke, who is taking a period off following the birth of his son, Signed the birth certificate earlier on Tuesday at Kensington Palace with current Westminster Registrar Patricia Gordon. Although the birth certificate may seem a formality, it can be a stressful job as found by previous Westminster Deputy Registrar Alison Cathcart who revealed she received death threats over her messy handwriting on Prince George's form in 2013. Louis document has been typed up which may have been an attempt to avoid a similar situation. Louis document listed the date and place of his birth and also gave the full name of his father and mother. Normally, parents have to attend a register office within 42 days of a child being born but in this case the deputy registrar went to Kensington Palace. Westminster City Council Registrar, Patricia Gordon, said, It has been a great honor to register and formally welcome the latest addition to the royal family, Prince Louis Arthur Charles. This follows a long history of Westminster City Council registering royal births, including Prince Louis siblings Prince George and Princess Charlotte. But Ms. Cathcart found it a very different experience in 2013, after admitting she became flustered when writing on the document while sitting next to Prince William at Kensington Palace. In a 2014 interview with the Daily Mail, she said, I got death threats. One person said their cat had better handwriting. Someone called for me to be fired and someone even said I was illiterate. She added, let's just say I had to have more than one attempt. What can I say? It was a very hot day and I was flustered in trying to fill this thing in with Prince William sitting beside me. But the experience did not put her off entirely, as she described it as the highlight of her career and returned to the palace two years later to write Charlotte's certificate, again by hand, as reported by Mail Online. Louis' name serves as a poignant tribute to Prince Charles' beloved great-uncle, mentor and honorary grandfather, Lord Mountbatten, who was killed in 1979 when the IRA placed a bomb in his fishing boat. Prince Louis' name was officially revealed last Friday after fans and bookmakers waited five days for confirmation, with many other names being touted as contenders including Albert and Alexander. It comes ahead of Princess Charlotte celebrating her third birthday on Wednesday. The royal youngster who is getting used to being a big sister to Prince Louis, turns three just nine days after the arrival of her baby brother. Confident Charlotte delighted royal fans by waving and leading her father the Duke of Cambridge up the steps of the Lindo wing when she was taken to meet her new sibling for the first time last week. The princess, who is fourth in line to the throne, is now the Cambridge's middle child. The past year saw another big change for Charlotte when she started nursery school. She attends Wilcox Nursery School close to her Kensington Palace home. Charlotte is expected to take a starring role as flower girl or bridesmaid when her uncle Prince Harry marries Meghan Markle in just over two weeks' time. She has already been a bridesmaid for Aunt Pippa Middleton, who wed last May. The princess has a reputation for being feisty compared to her older brother Prince George. Meanwhile revelers will be able to wet the royal baby's head at the first pub named after the new royal. Drinkers in Great Notley, Essex, will be able to pop a cork and celebrate his arrival when the watering hole opens next week. And Brewers McMullins say they would be more than happy to welcome the happy couple if they wanted to bring the royals to the alehouse for a celebration. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will be able to have a mini pub crawl if they wanted, as it is just 20 miles from another of the Hartford based firm's bars named for Princess Charlotte, in Colchester. The patriotic pub boasts the newest addition will allow families to enjoy the best of the British summer. It got its name as work finished on the day the baby was born, and today painters were finishing up work on the establishment's sign. Claire and Aaron Wood, general managers of the Prince Louis, said, We are thrilled to be opening in McMullen's newest pub. Our team have commenced training and were excited as us to know the name of the baby in pub. The brewers have plowed more than pound one million in refurbishing the pub, which, despite its regal name, will give punters a humble offering of chicken, curry, and real ales. Hayden Mizon, managing director, said, It is quite tricky to choose a pub that is timeless. We are a 190-year-old business and we own our pubs for a long time. Royal names don't date and for pubs it works well. Of course the happy couple would be welcome to wet the baby's head here. Everyone is welcome. It has worked out nicely as we handed back to the builders the day the baby arrived and that helped inspire the name. And added, We are delighted to have acquired and invested in this pub which will contribute to the warm and friendly community of Great Notley. We hope that the locals will be just as happy to see it being reopened as we are. As well as the two Regal Essex pubs McMullins runs the Prince George and Milton Keynes.
that's the money shot. Loving portrait of Prince Harry and his bride-to-be is emblazoned on a commemorative coin to celebrate their wedding, and the souvenir could set you back as much as £2,000. By Molly Rose Pike for Mail Online. With just weeks to go until their big day, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have the nation gripped in royal wedding fever, and the couple have reached another milestone in their relationship ahead of their nuptials, their first commemorative coin. Harry and his bride-to-be sat for the portraits used on the royal mint souvenir, and are described as looking looking lovingly into each other's eyes. The coin ranges in price from £13 to £1,980 for a gold-proof version. The couple's likeness was taken in a private sitting at Kensington Palace, and it is Meghan's first appearance on a UK coin by the Royal Mint. The Royal Mint revealed, following the announcement of their engagement, the Royal Mint was granted a private sitting with Prince Harry and Meghan at Kensington Palace. The setting of their meeting was relaxed and informal which is reflected in the portrait of the couple. The pair can be seen looking lovingly into each other's eyes and highlights the easy familiarity and connection between the royal duo. Harry and Meghan will wed on May 19 in the grand surrounds of St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, after getting engaged following a 16-month whirlwind romance. The coin design was crafted by Jodie Clark, who created the current effigy of the Queen in 2015. And Jessup, the Royal Mint's chief executive, said, It has been an honor for the Royal Mint to work closely with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to create the authentic royal wedding coin celebrating this most British of celebrations. The £5 coin, which can be purchased from the Royal Mint website, is available in brilliant uncirculated form costing £13, a silver proof for £82.50 and, and gold proof for £1,980. Harry featured on an Alder knee coin by the Royal Mint in 2005 to mark his 21st birthday. A royal expert recently predicted that Meghan's transition from TV star to being a member of the royal family will be seamless thanks to her age and divorcee status. Speaking on new documentary Harry and Meghan, a very modern romance, royal biographer Richard Kay explained how Diana and Fergie, who married into the firm aged just 20 and 26 respectively, found it difficult to cope with the pressures of royal life. Over the years, others have married into the royal family, think of Diana Spencer, Sarah Ferguson, and they couldn't cope with it, he said. They found the expectation too high, too hard. Meghan is that much older, much more confident and more experienced and I think that gives her a very good chance of making a good shot at this.